Do you want to know how to make the biggest impact for Christ in the Muslim world? You know, Muslim evangelism is very hard for the most parts in the world, but not in Iran. Iranians have rejected Islam, they have experienced the rule of Islam for over 38 years, and they have realized they do not want Islam. They are so open to the gospel. We have seen tens of thousands of Muslims come to Christ, to our ministry, directly. Around the world, many missionaries are working so hard for many years to just see a handful of Muslims come to Christ. A precious American missionary spent 40 years in Iran just to see 10 Muslims come to Christ, and he wrote a book about it. Not anymore. Yes, it used to be 10 Muslims for a lifetime. Now it is 30 Muslims in just a phone call. A while back, one of our phone counselors received a call from an Iranian man. That's what he said. I'm calling to ask you how we can become Christians. You see, my extended family and I have been watching your satellite TV programs for a while. As a family custom, we all gather weekly for a meal. We have been doing this for years. A few months ago, I told them about how I had come across your TV channel and how your programs tell us about a God who loves us and wants a relationship with us. So the rest of the family started watching your programs as well. Recently, we have been discussing what we have heard on your channel and how it compares to Islam. After several months of watching your programs and after much consideration and deliberation, we have all decided to follow Christ. So now, we are all here in my large family room. There are six families and about 30 people here. I bought a speakerphone just for this purpose. They are all listening to our conversation at this moment, and we all want to know what we need to do to become Christians. Would you tell us how? It was with joy that our phone counselor shared the gospel with them, shared Romans 10, 9, that if you believe in your heart and you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and died and rose again, you'll become Christian. So he let them Sentence by sentence, a prayer of salvation, and they, all 30 of them pray to receive Christ. You see, the prince of Persia, the evil spirit over Iran is being defeated because of prayers and because of the power of the gospel. It's losing its grips on the lives of millions of Iranians, and many captives to Islam are being set free. The walls of Islam is coming down, and the cracks are in Iran working together, we can bring those walls down and we can set the captives free. But may I share you something else. Jesus didn't ask us to go and make converts. He asked us to make disciples. We are not satisfied at Iran Alive that so many people are coming to Christ. We feel we have not done our job until they become disciples and even leaders in the kingdom of God. That's why we are expanding our discipleship and leadership training. We want to multiply the underground churches that we have in Iran. And we need your help. We need your prayers. And we need you to support us so we can disciple more believers. And we can disciple and train more leaders. And we can multiply the underground church in Iran. Let's not just make converts. Make disciples. Would you pray for us? Would you join us in making disciples in Iran and training leaders and multiplying underground churches? Together we are making history. Together we will see Iran transformed for Christ. God bless you.